Hi, my name is Catherine Garrett and over 12 weeks ago I was looking on Facebook and see a plea that people were looking for people to sew for the NHS to help keep them safe and I answered that plea and today we've been sewing scrubs, scrub hats, um, scrub bags, masks and we've had a lovely time you know to help on the NHS but when the plea was first asked I thought I don't know we could do with some help so I asked I also put a plea out to ask people if they would help and a lovely group of ladies all came and answered that plea. I'm now proud to say that I have 20 other people helping me on this little group, on the little group that we've established, although we are part of a bigger group because we've been so employed in Suffolk PPE group. But under the, my little group that we put together, lots of friends came. I don't think they actually realised what they would be doing at the time. But I've had some, some people have never sewn anything apart from repaired a pair of jeans and they've been making ear defender, ear protectors and different things. We've also had most of the ladies sewing scrubs and we make great friends. Yeah, over the last 12 weeks, but life has been very busy. I've been meeting lots of new friends, people, and they've all been excellent. At the beginning of it, we couldn't decide what we were going to call our little group. And it, they've been called Catherine's Amazing Stars and they've all been amazing stars. And without them all, we couldn't have done what we've done today. Yesterday, through everyone's help and hard work, just one lot of those collected and packaged with 43 sets of scrubs that they've all managed to do in a week. And I think that deserves everyone's big hug and I send love to all of them. And they've been great. My name's Andy Gardner and I started off in Suffolk PPE back in March, just as the pandemic started and we all went into lockdown. I started because my son uh, decided to join the ambulance service and he was told that he could have three weeks basic training and would be out driving COVID patients. I found a design for making laser shields uh, for faces at the hospital and started. Um, within a week or two, uh, having sort of shown these on Facebook, a friend of mine who owns a company down in Slayston said, how could we help? Can we come on board? And they offered us large scale cutting capacity um, as they were closed down. So we could use them for cutting scrubs, which we did. We cut 2,000 sets of scrubs for another group uh, down in Colchester and then bought material for ourselves to make scrubs as well, as well as masks. We had a lady came on board and showed us how to do the masks. Uh, at the, so at the same time, we developed a team of about 80 sewing ladies. We had a team lasering shields and clips. We had a distribution service going with the Freemasons uh, running packages about for us. Uh, Suffolk Lowland Rescue delivered for us. We had a lovely lady called Debbie who came on board and helped us with the organising and ordering. Started a website and we've got from there. And as of this weekend, we've just hit 11,500 pieces. And ladies, what have you all been doing this week? Scrubbing. 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 Scrubbers. We're scrubbers. Scrubbers are coming off. Um, my name is Janet Woods and I've been involved with making scrubs since the beginning of the lockdown really. Um, I've been involved with a large group of ladies, all very friendly on WhatsApp, and we've been making masks scrubs hats and a scrub top and trousers. My name's Mary Hunt and I'm one of the last to join the group but I'm very pleased to be able to help with the sewing. I started on bags, masks and am venturing into the scrubs themselves. I'm Free Clean and I've been sewing with this group since the start. Um, starting with scrub bags, then going on to masks and now scrubs. Um, I've got one or two other ladies involved um, along the way, including Janet. Janet and I normally work at the Seagull, uh, doing costumes and props and one thing or another. And this has kept me sane during the lockdown, otherwise I'd have gone absolutely mental, having nothing to do. So uh, it's been a well worth cause and, and uh, in a way, bit sad that it's coming to an end but I think we're all ready to give it a break now and uh, get back to our housework. <laughs> I'm Diane Watson, I came into this halfway through the lockdown and I think it's a really really worthwhile cause and I've been sewing scrub bags, hats and I've done two sets of scrub tops but this machine I'm working on is 105 years old. <gasps>
Amazing. So she's done really, really well, and I really enjoy it. Really worthwhile cause. So my name's Martina Holmes, and I joined the group probably the beginning of April when I got furloughed from work, and I had to borrow a sewing machine to start my work. And I liked it so much I bought my own, and I haven't stopped sewing since. Um, it's been a very enjoyable job to do. Made lots of new friends, lots of ladies here, and I think we're going to continue being friends after we've finished sewing. Hi, my name is Margaret Stone. Kath approached me to help make scrub bags halfway through, so I've been making scrub bags and ear savers. And I've said no to scrubs because I don't know how to do them. Jan Woods, um, I got involved because I can sew, really, and I'm usually busily making costumes for the Seagull Theatre, which unfortunately has had to close along with every other theatre. And I thought, well, I can use my, my sewing skills to, to help with a good cause. Hi, I'm Catherine from Catherine Ellen Design Cloth Works. Um, and uh, this is Honey, uh, oh. my hearing dog, who's my partner in crime. I had um, been seeing on the news that there's been lack of PPE and the fact that there's other people and other companies getting involved. And I felt quite conscious that the um, workshop was laying idle whilst all this was happening. And I had um, thought that I would start doing something myself. Um, and then I discovered East Suffolk PPE, which obviously would handle all the logistics and things for me. So I went, into, you know, went and confronted them with regards to um, joining the cause. Um, the fabric was um, came from East Suffolk PPE which um, was either donated fabrics that were used for um, uh, carers and things like that. And then there was new fabric from donations through crowdfunding. So the new rolls of fabric would come um, in. Those were largely actually cut by sort of big industrial cutters. But if, um, us, we were cutting things by hand um, in the workshop. And then um, Clothworks also provided a roll of fabric cut as well as a donation to the cause from the business. We were provided with a pattern which I believe was cut out by the industrial cutters and they were cut out on vinyl. I think the people that did the industrial cutting did car seats so obviously they had vinyl. We were mm -hmm. provided this very hard wearing pattern and um, which you didn't have to pin, you could put it on the rough side and it would mm -hmm. stay very still. Mm -hmm. We've initially cut everything then I would make up little packs for the ladies, which had everything that they required to make it up. So in the mask making pack, they would have the liner, the face, fabric. The wire. And the elastic. With my girls in my group, you know, we didn't have very many people that actually were making up the scrubs in my little regional group because we didn't have um, overlocking machines with the girls. So what we did with our group is that we pre-overlocked everything and then also wrapped up the packs so that they just had to pick it up and sew it. They didn't have to overlock it. The inter interfacing was all pre-put in there so that we could just increase the production rather than um, just having with people that had overlockers. Hello, I'm Penny Forrest. Um, lockdown actually started on my 65th birthday and it became quite clear to me quite quickly that all of us, lots of people, were going to have to do voluntary work in order to make this possible for us to all get through. I have some friends, Debbie and Andy Girling, who were doing amazing things really early on to provide PPE and I contacted them and talked about what I could do. Um, and it was decided to do sewing. So I got my 35 year old machine and my 65 year old eyes and I was put into a group that uh, was run by a lady called Kath, the amazing Kath. And she provided us, there are lots of us, she provided us all with cut out pieces of material or templates or cottons or elastic or all the things that we needed and we all set to to make scrub hats and masks or face coverings as they're now called um, bags and all sorts of things and it's been a pleasure and a privilege to be part of this 
a very small part of a massive, massive effort by a lot of amazing people. So I'm really pleased to be part of this and, um, and I thank all of those people that made it possible. And I'm really pleased that the skills that I learnt in school, which haven't been used for so long, have actually been useful in this pandemic. Older people can make a contribution with skills that they learnt and getting my machine out has been a pleasure. So I must carry on because I'm making some masks here. Thank you very much. See you later. Hi, I'm Michelle. I joined the group really late, so I haven't made many pairs of scrubs. I've only met two people in the group, but I can't wait to meet, wait to meet everybody else once this is all over. I'm Pat. I'm Michelle's mother, and I've just been helping out where I can with pressing the scrubs when she's finished them. and Stars group have decided to make 150 breathing bags because some of the ladies in the group have lost grandchildren or children and it's a nice gesture um, to have these placed in these bags and they can keep these bags rather than what they are sending from the hospital and we feel it's something that's very dear to our hearts.